Hello, welcome to the 18th day of February, 2022. My name is Kurt, and this is the Good Life Meditation, a practice that I do each and every morning to remind myself of my life objectives and principles, and to see how I did applying these to yesterday, and to plan for the coming day. First, uh, last night. Pretty good night of sleep, average now, for this uh, stage of my life. I was, I was indeed up uh, about an hour, at least an hour before the alarm went off. <clears throat> but it was a, a good quality up. Sometimes I'm up and uh, I'm anxious and thinking about work. Sometimes I'm up and uh, n not, not in a long time, not for more than uh, six to eight months. But before, when I was working at Ventura, I would practically be panicked thinking about work. Um, you know, literal, I mean, I think that there was some, in some cases, they may have been what constitutes a panic attack. Those are bad days. Boy, do I feel feel sorry for anyone that suffers that experience now that I've, I've learned, I've suffered it myself. It's, it's pretty scary. and pretty damn desperate to be awake in the middle of the night. <laughs> Worrying about life, or whatever it is that brings it on. For me, it was work. Just, man, I just would. I thought, at that time, I thought I just could not contain my projects. It's, it's such a shame to be, uh, to suffer so. There really is suffering over uh, something as... Uh, Something like work. <laughs> Gee. Well, those days hopefully are gone. Although it, now it's more of a run-of-the-mill <laughs> type of work anxiety. But one that still seems, seems to get me up. So that may be just the state of things for the next couple of years until I, until I decide to uh, throw in the towel. I can live with that. Overall, life's good. It's... it's <clears throat> having this experience, these experiences of not being able to wake up to fall asleep until the alarm goes off is like having a limp, you know, walking through life now with kind of this limp that keeps me going. It's, it's annoying <laughs> that I wake up an hour before the alarm but uh, and worry, but uh, I, can, I think I can get along with it. Mm. There's others going through uh, so much more challenging things. I should keep that in mind. Yeah, as I've said before, to the person that's uh, working through their own issues, their own issues are going to seem important, as do mine. To me. Excuse me. Yesterday, um, I remember, I don't know if, if you saw the one I did before, I was talking about how it's been a great week of basically hitting the bullseye. If I was, if it was throwing darts, I was nailing it one after another, bam. Bam! And yesterday I said I can't keep that up. <laughs> Gonna miss the mark. <laughs> sure enough, bonk. It wasn't by much. It was just a little off. I uh, was doing the training yesterday, and uh, I had this one tricky bit, more, probably the more complex bit of the training. It's the first time I've done this class. I I wrote the class and it, I was delivering the class, and it was the first time I'd done it uh, in in front of a live audience, of uh, students, and uh, I went I went in the wrong door. And for the live example that I did, I chose the wrong thing and it flubbed it up. I, I managed to stumble through it, but it wasn't. I had another example lined up that was the one that I wanted to use that would have been really good. Again, first world issue. So, otherwise, I think the training went good. A little over time, maybe, maybe I went like five minutes over, but uh, that's because there was a lot of chit-chat in the class. So, that's to be expected sometimes. So yesterday was a good day. Today, oh, I'll get to today. Let's do the good life. Seven objectives and 30 principles. As for the objectives, I seek to uh, be in readiness for the end of my life by having my good relations in order, 
my relations in order, my finances in order, and my, and my work, my life's work in order. And I want to make good and effective use of my time by uh, being very careful about what I do every day, about the uh, tasks that I choose to take on, and the recreation that I engage in. And I want to develop really good life objectives and principles and to work on them, tinker on them every day to keep them sound. And I'll cultivate good emotional reactions so that uh, when things get a little tricky, I don't fly off the handle or lose control, but I maintain my balance and my equanimity. I maintain control even though I may falter sometimes and not execute that as well as I like, I'll continue to try my best. <clears throat> and I'll uh, try to do good things through the day. Little things, medium-sized things, and big things too that make the world a better place. And I'll recognize my limits and my opportunities so that I can uh, be reasonable about uh, what isn't possible for me, or not likely at least, and uh, more able to pursue those things that are something that I can do, if I choose to. Choose to. Excuse me. And then to just do one thing at a time, and to always do that thing slowly and deliberately to never ever multitask. I almost did yesterday. I was in a meeting. It was a camera off meeting. I usually have my camera on. You know, of course I work from home. But I take I take my cue from the whoever's running the meeting, whoever's leading the meeting. So that person, uh, well actually she had her camera on, but everybody else had their camera off. And I didn't want to be the one. I'm, I'm the new guy in the meeting. I didn't want to be the one standing out. Look at me. <laughs> so... How did I talk about that? <laughs> I was talking about the last objective, which is uh, just doing one thing slowly. Oh, the point was, I had the camera off, and I wanted to uh, to uh, do something else. I was tempted to do some other work while I did that, because I wasn't talking. I wasn't expected to talk. I didn't think I would need to talk, but I didn't. I didn't multitask. I, I sat there attentively, staring at nothing. <laughs> and listening carefully to what was going on. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, let's do the 30 objectives, or principles, that is. I always want to fight against everything that I think is true, and everything that others tell me is true, that they think I should believe, if it seems to be important. And I want to be a reasonable man, and use uh, uh, the objective and honest, and uh, a skeptic and to use those tools in the pursuit of that war. And I want to remember that I don't have a soul, that all I have is a consciousness that uh, is a, a feeble feeble uh, instantiation of, of, of someone within my ear, between my eyes, behind my eyes, between my ears. And that, uh, that being, this consciousness that's me, um, is always alone. And uh, even when I'm with others, I'm still alone. We all are. We're going to die alone. <laughs> and uh, that good and evil concepts of right and wrong exist up here as well. And then I'll have a purpose, which is to uh, raise my daughter, look after her. Be a, uh, be a good man, be a virtuous man, and uh, to pursue my mission, which is to share my book, Going Alone, which tells the story of my life and 
well, the story of my life, <laughs> the main thing that happened, not the story of everything, but the main thing, and the resulting objectives and principles that I'm relating now, which are here, available on Amazon or at goingalone.org. And I want to remember that uh, everything is little bits and pieces, atoms, that uh, I'm going to soon dissolve away when I'm dead. These atoms will fall to pieces. And that uh, everything has some particular nature. It's good to recognize what that nature is and live in accord with it. These principles become more just a, like a knee-jerk for me now. When I see things happening, I just remind myself, I'll usually say it out loud in my mind, oh, that's the nature of that thing. It's helpful that it does that because then it robs me of, uh, of expecting otherwise. I can, otherwise might happen. I might be wrong about that nature, but if I'm right, then I keep it between the lines. I also don't think I have any free will, nor, nor do you. Yeah, that's an illusion. We are uh, pushed by the universe. Unwillingly, un, 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 not unwillingly, willlessly pushed. The universe is willlessly pushing us towards whatever decision uh, we do make, although we, we feel like we can make any choice we want. Well, we can't. Then uh, maturity comes of uh, experience coupled with uh, strength to uh, do better or to continue doing what works. We uh, are social creatures. We need each other. And I want to speak carefully, to uh, choose my words carefully, to make, to make measured sentences and use vocabulary that is readily understood, while all the while maintaining a good vocabulary so that I can understand my books, the books that I read. I can understand what's being said. Because I like books that challenge my thinking, that use words that I don't know. Not in an ostentatious way, but simply by virtue of the fact that the books that I read tend to have been written more than a hundred years ago. Excuse me, when such language was in common, more, more common use. And to be a temperate man, to guard my appetites. And to remember that the universe is a horror show. That the universe will not ask, will not do, do with me any more than it was, that is within its nature. Its nature is horror in one element. So I'll be ready for that. And uh, to be ready to, to push through and carry on where uh, with the things that I must carry. And to not uh, let my emotions escape from me in an unseemly way. To not to fly off the handle in front of others. To be in control. And to not uh, let the uh, lack of control of others, their expression of that, to uh, weigh me down unnecessarily. I can, I can certainly notice it, and I can, I can act on it. I can help to alleviate it if, if necessary, if I can, if possible, and if I'm willing. But I uh, don't want to want it to soak into me. to uh, not distract myself from the fact that the universe appears uh, uh, empty. And to be happy with who I am and where I am and what I'm doing. And to be ready to move forward in a deliberate manner, collecting facts, ready to make a decision, and informing that decision by my gut reaction, my gut instinct. to recognize that uh, there's different types of risks. There's the relatively easy risks of the sane and sober life, of job, home, family. 
And then there's also the uh, more challenging and less sanctioned objective of uh, finding oneself and living some adventure and have a story to tell. I, I'm, I'm, I've tried to tackle both. That's how it resulted with my book. That was the result of one of my great life adventures. And to uh, guard myself from hope and faith and dogma and uh, authority, superstition, and to never ever gossip. And to remember that when death comes, there will be nothing else after this. That I won't see my family again. I won't have a chance to make amends. And there will be no chance to pursue justice because death is permanent. And uh, we'll just simply go back to uh, what we were before we were born, which never harmed any of us. So nothing to fear. But a reminder to live, live well now. To have at least one great life adventure, something to uh, call my own, my story. And then if the uh, time comes and the words are there, to write them down, to tell the story. To remember that uh, I shoot for the mark, but usually miss. That uh, life is a, an arena, and uh, the principles that we develop are the tools that we can use in the pursuit of the objectives that we decide. And that it's an uphill climb, and that less is better. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> less is usually better. And that I'll remember to have fun. Speaking of which, so there I've done my good life. Speaking of which, I'm really looking forward to it. Today is, excuse me, I feel like I'm going to sneeze again. Today is a Friday, a working Friday, which means that uh, I get to uh, enjoy lunch with my wife. So uh, she and I will, I don't know where we'll go today. Maybe BJ's for some burgers. That might be fun. But I really look forward to it. I look forward to it so much since we both work from home. We make it a point that on the working Friday to uh, go have to take a take a lunch together, a little long lunch, Shh, no doubt. <laughs> okay, and then uh, so today I have I have a couple of things I need to do uh, that I really for my big project I need to uh, uh, get the wheels turning for the big uh, branding uh, and uh, templates meeting in March. It's going to be tricky to get that one going. I'm going to work on that. I also have a spreadsheet I want to create. I also want to uh, get some confirmation on another team that I'm working on. And um, I think that's about it for today. That's pretty reasonable, I think. I think I can get those things done today. Hope you have a good day. Make it a uh, make it a good one. We'll both let's both do our best, right? Okay. Take care. Be safe, but not too safe.